Hi, I'm Dave. This is Cider Baby Pod. And today I'm speaking to Etherfield. Hello. Hello, Ben. Hi, yeah. This is uh, Ben from Etherfield. Oh, I do. Um, I've got to say, as a part time hack like myself, the name of your band strikes fear in my heart every time I have to try and spell it. Oh, I see. It's, it's, <laughs> quite, the, <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite the odd spelling. I mean, it was more or less like a sort of thing to try and make it look as cool as possible. And we didn't really think about the trouble that people would have just trying to spelling, just trying to spelling it, I guess, and trying to say it as well, I think. Yeah, um, yes, on both counts. Yeah, I can fully understand that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, well, I saw you for the first time when Bad Touch put on a free gig at the Wharf in Tavistock. I mean, how many years ago was that? It must be five or six years ago now, surely. It's like, yeah, about five years ago. Yeah, yeah. that was quite a while ago then. Yeah. Yeah, you, were, you were just mere boys at the time. Yeah, I think we'd, we'd only just, um, we only recently kind of changed our name from a different project that I won't go into. But basically, we, we were already a band that had already been formed for a couple of years before that. But mm. it was at that point where we changed our name and we kind of just like thought, you know, let's not make this just a hobby and let's just kind of make this into something that we really want to do. And um, I remember that was kind of, that gig was kind of like the start of that whole thing. I remember that and the gig that we did with Stray at, at the Wharf as well. Mm. Um, that was kind of like the sort of stepping stone that got us from being like a sort of, you know, kids band sort of thing, you know, into just being like an actual sort of, or an actual band, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you're still fairly young. I mean, you're not old men by any no. means. Um, but you've done so much in the last couple of years. I mean, you've got two EPs and you've got a cracking album out. What's that tail end of last year? Yeah, it was uh, just just uh, middle of last year. We put it out in uh, June. That's yeah. that's kind of that's like the biggest thing we've kind of done so far. Like I guess in terms of it's like just the scale of it. Just an album is just taking so much time and effort into putting it together. I guess and it's. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's to us, it's just so important, I guess. Yeah. Um, describe your sound because it has matured over like the three opuses that you've put out. It has sl changed slightly as we, as you got older. So describe your sound today. Um, so a lot, a lot of our sound is kind of based on what we listen to or what we like to listen to and sort of our sort of idols. And, um, so one of the things, the, the thing, I think the main sound that we kind of base ourselves off is kind of like um, progressive rock slash metal. Mm. Um, I think also a big part of our sound comes from our love for like the 90s grunge era, right. I think. So stuff like Alice in Chains, I think we get we get compared to a lot when we love Alice in Chains. We love Soundgarden, um, Pearl Jam, and then so like the sort of prog bands that we love as well is Porcupine Tree, mm. Opeth, Dream Theater, you know, those are all some of our favorite bands. And I think it's kind of a mesh of those sort of things um, while bringing our own sort of style to it as well. Yeah, you certainly got your own style. Um, I saw you Saturday night, this just gone at Station 18 Festival in uh, Swansea. You yeah. just literally melted the stacks. I mean, <laughs> it was just amazingly mind blowing. I, I was really impressed. I mean, I've seen you, I don't know, half a dozen times now over the last few years, and it did just get better and better. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I think over over the, the COVID sort of period, it kind of gave us a lot of time to really think about how to really get our live shows better. And I mm. think, you know, just it gave us a sort of bit of time, just a bit of time to think about how, how can we make this better, and just how do we make this tighter. And I think we, I think that's just like started to come together now. I think you know, our live shows are suddenly starting to become like a, I don't know, just like this sort of. Uh, uh, more more of just like a proper stage show now than it used to be mm. less of just like a playing of the songs but now it's actually like a proper performance you know um yeah yeah okay well you've got something quite new coming up very soon as well haven't you you've got an actual tour yeah so it's going to be our it's our first tour that we've ever done before and so um i mean although i've i've been on tour as like a sort of uh stage hand before yeah which was with uh, Chris Barris, that was a while ago. Um, I've never been on a tour as as a band and mm. the other guys in the band haven't done a tour before either. So this is all kind of very new for us. And um, and yeah, I think the band, uh, you know, the band Von Hertzen Brothers, you know, 
the fact that them of all bands have chosen us is like a blessing for us because it's like exactly the sound that we want to be. Yeah, you know, they're, they're they're the exact sort of band that we've always kind of strived to be. Um, you know, in terms of like uh, not only in just like the sound that they got, but just like um, just that so the the whole sort of vibe they got to them. So like you know the, the progressive uh, mesh of like rock and stuff. Um, yeah, it's just kind of everything that we've always wanted to be. Um, have you got a list of tour dates there? Uh, I, I, I know, I, I, know I, most, I know. I know most of them off the top of my head, but I can't get them up. That's uh, so. Uh, do you want me to run through them all, all right yeah, now? Yeah, go on, run through them for the people. So, so we're going to start off uh, the 11th of May in mm. Bristol at the yep. uh, at the Thekla, which is the uh, it's the boat there. It's the boat. I love that place. Yeah, second second time playing playing there for us, and uh, yeah, that's, I do like that venue. It's a great place. Mm. Um, and then the day after, we're going up to Nottingham to play the Rescue Rooms. Never actually played there before, and I'm interested to see what it looks like. Yep. Um, and then also the thirteenth uh, will be the London Underground, uh, the Underworld. Sorry. Uh, that is just an iconic venue. Is that? It actually is. Yeah, because I was. I I know of the underworld. I've seen it come up a lot of times before, but I didn't realize just how like sort of iconic it was until I was reading an article today about um, architects playing their first headline show there. I thought, yeah, we're playing there now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw you to John Roth a couple of years ago, and it's just oh, it's it's just like stepping into a magical world. So you just you know, legends have trod those boards. I think. It yeah, I think it's kind of a, I think that's definitely a stepping stone for us. I think the underworld. I think mm. it's uh, um, just one of those venues that I think it's just I think every band you know trying to make it. I think they kind of have to play. I think I think that's yeah. Gonna be the, yeah. Um, and then we're going to take a break after the thirteenth, and we're going to be uh, on so after the thirteenth we take a break on the fourteenth, and then we will come back on the tour in uh, Buckley at the Tivoli. Yep, which I believe is in Wales. Is that, is that right? I think so, yeah. And uh, I've seen a lot of people saying they're probably going to see us in that one as well. I think um, I've seen a lot of people putting comments up, so I'm quite excited for that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then after that, we're going to be going up to... Yeah. After that, we'll be going up to Newcastle at the yeah. Trillions Rock Bar, which I've heard some yeah. great things about it as well. Uh, yeah, that's a um, very busy place. Yep. Really, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's good. It would be good to see it. And then on the seventeenth, we've got quite an interesting one. We're going to be playing in uh, Glasgow, mm. first time playing in Scotland for us. And uh, I think for I think for Zach and Dan, I think it's the first time they've ever actually been in Scotland as well. So, <laughs> yeah, um, that is that is quite a tour. It's got to be said. It's uh, so. It's, yeah, it's, it's quite it's, it's quite the tour, and I think it's it's quite the undertaking for somebody with their you know our first sort of thing as well. It's quite the undertaking, and yeah, but, um, moving off. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, moving off from the from the 17th of May at Glasgow, uh, which is at the Sleigh. Um, yeah. We'll be going to the, um, Huddersfield on the 18th, the Parish, and then we'll be finally finishing off the the tour at the, on the 19th of May in Wolverhampton at like at the uh kk steel mill which is like an iconic venue i think yeah. actually i've seen so many people play there yeah you know, yeah just, um, yeah that is quite some tour for you guys uh it's gonna open so many doors to people who may not have heard you yet just different areas just breaking out into different areas i mean with any luck you'll be asked yeah back I think Oh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I'd be, I mean, hopefully, like us. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's, it's a really good opportunity just for us to kind of branch out in these places that we wouldn't really get the chance to play any other check, like any other time. Yeah. Um, not go up that far because I think the previously the furthest that we've gone in the UK was Derby, and that was for uh, Bloodstock in 2018. Yeah, that was yeah. that's the furthest that we'd ever gone for a gig, and now this this tour is by far the, the widest range that we've ever kind of uh, done for anything really. Yeah, but um, uh, aren't you not going abroad next year as well? Uh, we are actually, yeah, we yeah. we are going to um, 
So as part of the HRH road trip mm. uh, next year, we're gonna be going to Ibiza as well, which insanity that's like, like insanity to us. Like that's yep. insane. So um, it's just like leave the parents behind, right? You to stay. You can stay. Yeah, <laughs> it really, yeah, it's gonna be like that actually. <laughs> we, we, we don't really have we don't really have the option for like any extra space. So it's just like we're gonna show up with as little gear as possible. I'm gonna show up with like one amp, one pedal board, and one guitar. Yeah, there's only three things that I gotta take, and probably like a tiny little bag for the clothes. That's that's about all I can take in terms of like my own stuff. Um, and yeah, just going like going. I mean, I've never even like been to Spain. I've never even been to Spain. I'm like, I'm Ibiza, suddenly. Uh, it's party time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will be. Yeah, I just make sure we don't party before the gig. Make sure we do it afterwards. You know, uh, you'll be you'll become hard and rock stars before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, uh, just in all seriousness, I mean, you're like the everybody's favorite nephews in the new wave of classic rock group, as I see it <laughs> at the moment. And this is a chance for you to like break out and just widen that horizon for yourselves. I mean, what kind of opportunities are you looking for now? I mean, are you looking for a major label or are you looking for? Uh, a second just a second album just touring more or what i, th I think i mean we're, we're not too concerned about like labels and, and stuff like that it would be nice to have that sort of backing mm. um you know to help set up those tours i think you know um that's how that's how i see like, that sort of thing helping you know just helping out in terms of like setting up tours and, and making sure that people can get to our, our gigs but for now I'm finishing just writing the next project whatever it ends up being and um also just setting up more tours as well and I'd, yeah. I'd love to do our own headline tour um in the future like just doesn't doesn't have to be as wide as wide range as this and as su in such like big venues but just having our own tour where each night we can just show up and there's going to be people you know showing up to our gigs like that's that's a sort of dream, I guess, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's how I kind of see our, our plans for the future. Just keep it, just keeping it, and it, just keeping it going, I guess, and just keeping the, um, keeping the material going as well. Yeah. Um, going back to the album, that was quite, an, uh, quite a masterpiece. <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, if you were to say to somebody who's never heard you before, uh, just to pick one track and say, right, that defines us at the moment. What track would you pick? I think I'd have to, I think I'd probably have to go with remembering on that one. Yeah. I think that one, yeah, personally, I think it kind of encompasses all of my favorite things about this album. Mm. Um, and I think it was probably one of the last songs I think we wrote for the album and it just ended up being like all of our favorites pretty much. Um, it kind of it encompasses our sort of, a wide dynamic range in terms of like you know loud to soft sort of things and it also encompasses like our best lyric writing uh, also like some of the most like techni technical parts in that song as well um i think the whole song is just structured exactly how i exactly like how I, how I want it to be and how i think it just represents um exactly how our sound is you know you've got the pro you've got the the a very much a porcupine tree like opeth sort of sound to it mm. and also there's also hints of the grandeur in there as well, which I love. Okay. Yeah, so ben, yeah, remember it. I won't hold you up any longer. Thank you very much for your time and uh, hope right. to see you on tour very soon. Hope, yeah, hope to see you there. Okay. Take care. <laughs>